Hi, I'm Sandy Parentosi, and um, I've developed a set of templates, uh, Circlematic Form Finder, and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of the set by being able to extend or reduce the size of the templates. So I've made a bowl using this template, and you can use this, you can use it as a bowl, or you can turn it upside down and it can be a jar. I'm about to show you how you can extend this if you want to make a larger bowl. So you lay your pattern down, and this is the size I used for the bowl that I just showed. And if you want to extend it, what you need to do is trace your original pattern just up to the end. Just trace it lightly with a knife or a needle tool. Don't go too deep. And then take your template and shift it in, in that same circle and move it around and then continue drawing the line. It's very important that you cut the extended bowl on the same radius as the original pattern, all pointing toward a center uh, point. And then you just lift your pattern, texture as you would like, and cut it out and proceed to make a larger bowl. By the same token, you can shorten something. And if you want to shorten something to make a cup, for instance, you would just pull your pattern around. They're flexible so that you can play around with the sizes. And pull it around to a size that you might like to make. I'm going to make a very small cup, but you can make any size cup that you like with this pattern. And just pull it over to here. So you can see um, them being flexible, it helps you see the size that you might get. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to draw a line right there on the, on the template and then pull this away and to shorten it you do the same thing except you only come as far as the line that you drew, like that. And then you take the pattern and you pull it using on the same circular pattern and you cut there and then cut up to that original point and move the template back and cut on the original edge. It's very important that you use those original ends for all of your cuts. And let's pull this away and I'll quickly show how to then take this and make it into the cup. And the same technique was used for turning it into a bowl. You have your pattern. You can texture it if you like. I'm not going to texture it for the sake of time. I'm just going to smooth the edge a little bit. And then you want to take your knife and bevel the edge, and what you're trying to do with the bevel is just roughly split the thickness of that slab in half. So extend your knife point so that you're not cutting sharp to the edge. And then lift that up, and then come over here, and again, you're just roughly trying to split that thickness in half so that when you pull it around, you get roughly the same thickness all around for your slab. Take a scoring tool, Score, add a little slip, and flip it towards yourself, and then score. And pull this around and overlap. Now I'm working very quickly here just to give you a, an indication just for the demonstration's sake. And then get your cup into a nice round. And you can use some biscuit cutters to find out which size your bottom is. That's a good size for that. The set of biscuit cutters is a really handy tool. And if you need to go beyond that in terms of uh, circles, the, I have the purple templates that are all circles of different sizes. 
So I'm now just going to cut a bottom out of clay. And again, I'm not doing a lot of clean up here, just trying to keep it quick. And you score and score and then slip. Add your bottom. Tap it down. And the same process was used to make the bowl. You just pat a little bit and then flip it around. And that's a nice straight sided cup if you want a straight sided cup. And again, all of this I would clean up and join, join this on the inside. And then you can proceed to push out your cup to have a nice small cup. And again, I'm just being rough, but I do have one that I've, I have two that I made to show you just by how you push this out, the different size cups you can get. This is one by pushing it out more like a globe. And this is another by pushing the belly out at a higher point and leaving it sort of little subtle change at the bottom there. And so you can extend any of the templates or reduce them just by using that method. Have fun!